Hey there, fellas. Here's what we're up to. We are currently in the process of assembling an engine underwater. Okay, let's see where this whole thing goes. We are making a round pool in order to have visibility all around and be able to observe what's happening inside from any angle. So keyframe is ready, let's tend to the skin. So we have gotten everything ready fully dismantled engine that we've gotten all nice and clean. We've also got that uh, tub of ours ready. And so let's proceed to submerge all of these bits and get our expert underwater engine builder prepared. Let's go. So in the past I have assembled an engine using plastic toy wrenches, also on sand, and with my eyes closed. Now I'm going to do it underwater. To make it easier for Serge to dive, we are giving him a kettlebell, for him to use as he sees fit. We have got a small kettlebell. I'm going to tie it to my waist to keep myself from floating back up, which happens due to the massive positive buoyancy of this wetsuit. This is quite fun. At the very least, it's a new experience. I don't know where it could come in useful, but it's a new experience with the underwater engine assembly, also with diving while wearing this thing, using it to breathe while I'm underwater. Day 2. So after the weekend we came in to work, and we're stunned to see that the water has become orange colored. The block is covered in grot. I mean rust. We thought about what to do, and we've decided to drain the water, vacuum all of the rusty sediment we got spread over the bottom of the pool, and pour some clean water back in. It's been 15 minutes since we've seen him, and we would like to ask how things are going, but he's not resurfacing. He's comfortable breathing down there. Он 
So right now he is inserting the pistons, which is fairly difficult, because even in normal conditions you'll have trouble stuffing them in, much less underwater. And to make matters even worse, the engine has already rusted and continues to get rustier. It's hard to get the pistons in, the crank is barely turning, the clearances are all screwed. It'll be nothing short of a miracle if it starts, if we're able to at least get it to run somehow. Size perception becomes a real issue when you're down there. You see an 8mm nut, you grab it and it turns out to be a 6. You try it, doesn't fit, and you're like, what the hell's going on? Also, your own movement is impeded. So assembling an engine is quite a challenge. How are you gonna start it? It's all rusty, you didn't lube it? I think once we extract it from the pool, we're going to flip it around this way, that way, to get as much water out as possible. Then we oil it up and manually attempt to move it around, gently going back and forth to free it up as best we can. So what do you think? Will you be able to get it to start? I think so, yeah. He's been going down for half an hour at a time. At the very least. I think he's already been down there for half an hour at this point. Okay, the engine is now fully assembled as far as I can tell. Everything is ready, so let's pull it out of the water, examine it, and of course, how can you not try to start it after it's just been assembled? That is most definitely in the cards. Okay, then let's get to it. But before we do that, there is a lot of prep that needs to be done. It is full of water, the water needs to be removed. None of the parts are lubricated because, well, how do you imagine lubricating an engine while it's underwater? Right, so I was able to get this camshaft to turn back and forth, even if only barely. It took me two hours to free up the engine, using a meter-long breaker bar and, to quote Cyril, power of will. So it is turning, but only barely and while making nasty noises. We're gonna pour in some oil and crank it using the starter motor to get the oil to flow around. Okay, we poured everything in, cranked it with oil, everything is connected and let's try this out. It is turning, that's a good start. Let's try disconnecting the coil and cranking it. I just wanted to say it's happier to turn. Why is there no compression in cylinder 4? Nah, just a little bit. Even the gas ain't helping? Did it? That's a for some reason, we are getting nowhere with trying to start this engine. At least one of the exhaust ports is spitting smoke, we have spark and fuel, we checked everything is aligned.
I suggest we add a bit more fuel. It ran, just not for long. There you go. Okay, so it started, it ran, all of that is good. And this tells us that there is no such thing as impossible. An engine can be assembled even underwater. If you have any ideas on where it might be impossible to assemble an engine, let us know, we'll try them out. And that's all I got for you, we made it, it's all good, catch you guys later.